All right, we are back. I just literally stopped talking for like two seconds, so I know where to cut it. And now we're going inside the whale. Not the whale, the uh, shark. That is Clanker, and oh man. Okay, so it doesn't always give you a jiggy, but we got Grunty's eyes to pop out, so we kind of made her picture look stupid. So I guess that's... It's a better representation of her, I guess. And that's a... That's a accomplishment to my book. So, that's good. Also, six jiggies. Wow. More than what I originally thought. Okay, so... Kind of doing all this uh, clanker stuff out of order. You're actually supposed to start with the teeth. Uh, but I'm just going to skip around here. And I think this is actually the exact way that I did it last time on my uh, original playthrough. And by original one, I mean the first one on my Nintendo 64. I had played the game once before with an emulator. But, meh. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to Bottles. This is our move, and it wasn't very well hidden, but it's definitely more hidden than all the other ones, so far at least. But we finally get to put those gold feathers to use, and we get invulnerability. I'm pretty sure- oh no, I had eight, never mind. And there we go, we have the single move for this world, and with a move like this, now, I'm pretty sure you can do this without using the invulnerability, but I'm just going to play it safe and use the invulnerability, because this is what it's used for. So, we can make it all the way down here, grab feathers, and get a jiggy, and then head back. That's why they gave you all these fe feathers here. But we can only hold ten of them, but they last about, I don't know, like three to five seconds per feather, maybe? So, you can get invin invincibility for a while, and it really helps out. Especially when you use it in certain situations. So there we go, there's that. That little section's done. Now I guess I'm just going to go ahead and do this part with all these rings. And oh gee, a whole bunch of blue ones, and then a green one. I wonder what I have to do. Well, in case you honestly can't tell, go through the green ring. And then another one will become green, and then another one will become green. Oh god, it's Superman 64! To be honest, I still have not played it. I owned it. I own it. I got it for free, actually, because Disc Replay was having, like, a, a buy five, get one for free sale, so I bought a bunch of Nintendo 64 games, and Superman 64 just happened to be the cheapest, so I got that one free, which I, I find kind of funny, like, the store just gave me Superman 64 free. I don't say why, people just probably just assume it's because it's a horrible game, apparently. I played through the first level, so I have experienced the rings. Uh, but I haven't really played through it, although I plan to eventually. And also, for doing that, we get yet another G, and we also get the water to raise here, which is pretty neat. So we can use that to our advantage and get to some new stuff. I think we actually have full access to the flight pad now over there, although because I did stuff out of order and grabbed uh, that jiggy from the blowhole, First, I had it immediately, and I could go get the other thing. So this is when you're supposed to be able to go get the new move. But, oh well, and you're su still supposed to do the teeth first, but I'm guessing I'm going to do that last or something. Okay, where does this go? Oh yeah, it just takes you out through his gills, which is also really neat. Yet another way to enter Clanker uh, through his gills, so real cool. Oh man, I missed some of them. But go ahead, shoot his gold teeth with eggs. N what, how that's supposed to help, I don't know. Maybe it gives his teeth protein, or maybe it just pulls it out entirely. Now, if I could head in, that would be great. And this one holds a jiggy. The other side, the older, go the other gold tooth on the other side, if I could grab it, but I guess not. Also, I did not want to do that. Uh, the other side holds a... Mumbo token, which you can grab if you want. I think I'm just going to skip out on it because I have plenty right now And I honestly don't want to go all the way around in order to grab just a single n mumbo token uh, You can see it's right there. So there you go, and I'm not doing a uh, all mumbo token run You don't need to get all the mumbo tokens for hundred percent luckily I mean it would be okay if they like told you how many mumbo tokens there were per level and I'm sure that there are guides that outline where all of the mumbo tokens are but Meh, I don't care enough to do that much. I mean, you only use about 50% of them or something like that. I think there are like 115 in the game, something like that maybe. 
and you only use about like 60. There we go, we got all 100 notes. And then right down here, we have what should be our final Jinjo. Maybe, I think. Yeah, it is. Aw oh, man, I'm not going to be able to show the Super Happy Dance again. Also, if I could turn around here and there we go. So there we go, that's 10. Maybe I can get out of the water quick enough for him to start dancing. Uh, that seems to not be the case. However, there is still the matter of that other empty honeycomb that I almost forgot about, honestly. Crap, where is it? Um, I remember what you have to do. I think. Maybe. Let's see if I can get a scope of my surroundings and see if I can- Oh, right, 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 right. It's right here, actually. Lucky. I thought you had to fall through another pipe like the other one, but no, I was just remembering the other one. Yeah, right here. Hidden really well, actually. And there we go. We got our next unit of health. Seven health. And now we can head on out of here. And Clanker's facing this way, which means the exit is this way. So there we go. That is Clanker's Cavern 100%. I honestly thought I was going to die once in this level, mainly because of that whole key section where we had to turn it three times to release him. But I didn't, I was rather cautious and used Gloop or Bloop or whatever his name is in order to get air and I was fine. But honestly, I was kind of worried about that. So yeah, also there's a ladder there if you happen to fall off during that very first section in the level and you need to get back up there to get whatever. Actually, I have to go use that to get whatever and by whatever, I mean the level exit. Okay, showing off the ladder, oh yeah. And we can go ahead, just head on up here, and peck through the guys. Don't have to use invincibility like I thought you had to. Oh well. And then we can just head on down here. And that's the level, 100%. Okay, so we have about 7 minutes extra time. And yay, my best note score for this world is now 100. Um, I'm pretty sure I showed the Brentilda up there when I went over there to unlock Bubble Gloop Swamp. Like, I hit the button in order to open up that passageway and then went in there. So, let's go ahead and find out where Bubble Gloop is. Also, oops, there we go. Now we can walk. Okay, so... Did I show off down here? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Let's just... It's not very big if I didn't. Um... Yeah, I definitely did, okay. So yeah, we've been here before, so that's pretty much all of this section, uh, sorted out. Oh yeah, there's the, there's the Gruntilda switch that I hit, and I need to go grab that Jiggy. Or rather, fix her eyes, because apparently, uh, we need to do that. I, I don't know, I, I feel like it's a pretty good resemblance of her. But well, it should seem pretty obvious what we need to do, just fix it. Fix the problem that you've caused. And then a Jiggy will come out of her nose as though it were a boil or something. And you can grab it, and that's our fourth Jiggy of Grunty's Lair. So, yay. Uh, I, I really don't, and I just cut off what she was saying. Oh well. She says a lot of stuff, so we'll be seeing quite a bit of it. And here's a note door, we need 180. If you've been getting 100% uh, so far, you could open that after Treasure Trove Cove if you wanted. But you're not supposed to till uh, now, so there you go. Hmm, she has a Jiggy right there. I wonder if I could get that, but we can't right now. Although, I feel like I should point out something really cool that another Let's Player did. and It was even a blind Let's Play, too. Uh, basically, it was Liam6, and what he did was something along the lines of this. He used the... Uh, shock jump pad thing, whatever, and um, he jumped onto Gruntilda's hand completely by accident. I mean, he had the idea and he tried it, and he just happened to get it to work. And the first try too. I can't seem to do it actually. I never really practiced this before. Just felt like, eh, maybe I'll show it. It'll be funny. Uh, but I'm having no luck here. So yeah. But hey, he's an he's an awesome let's player. And if you aren't subscribed to him, but you are, for whatever reason, subscribed to me and not him, go check him out. He is really awesome. He's doing a blind Let's Play of Banjo-Tooie right now. So, really, go check him out. And go check out that moment as well. And let's go ahead and talk to Brent Tilda. Okay, she sleeps in a dumpster. That's... You're also making fun of other people while you say that. 
She won the biggest butt competition. There's such a thing. Uh, and she was on the cover of... She was sitting on her broomstick. That doesn't seem that bad. I mean, if, it, if it's a magazine about witches and witches use broomsticks, I mean, it kind of makes sense that she would pose on a broomstick. Okay, let's check this out right here. I, I hear frogs. Okay. What's... What do we have over here? Some boots! Some transparent boots! Interesting. And they fart when they talk or something. And oh, Brentilda again! God, you just appear everywhere! Hear all of the grunty goss gossip. Broomstick racing? Well, Gruntilda really seems to have a thing about brooms. Fat hag, hi! Uh, is eating a bucket of beans. I don't know. Beans could be good, I guess. I mean, why not? I don't see how that's much of a party trick. And I just accidentally stepped in the piranha rot water. Rotter. Piranha water, so I better keep my feet clean or whatever. Oh boy. And here's our next world that we actually opened up a couple of videos ago by now. When I did that out of order exploration, whatever. But here it is. Bubble Gloop Swamp. And we will be doing this in the next part because I really don't think there's anything else that I can explore in the lair for now. Hmm. Well, there's Bubble Gloop Swamp right there. Remember that. We're going to be starting the next video over there. Okay, and let's not interrupt Grumpy this time. Grunty this time. Uh, we're only a third of the way through the game, Grunty. Can't fight you yet. And actually, yes, we are about a third of the way through the game. God, that statue's ugly. And I really want to at least try to get the trick to work. Actually, no, he didn't do it yet. He had uh, done what you need to do in order to get the Jiggy. Uh, but he didn't, uh, basically, I'll explain this sort of. He didn't fall through that hole from the upper level like you're supposed to. He just jumped from that hand and then jumped up onto the hat and then fell down and grabbed the Jiggy. It was awesome. It was really awesome. So again, go check him out. Uh, now that that big advertisement is over, I'm going to try one last time. I think I'm fluttering, like, way too early. Oh well. Honestly, if you want to see it done, go see his videos. I, I forget what part it is. It's somewhere. And here's a note door that we're not supposed to be able to enter until after Bubble Gloop, but I could open it now if we wanted to. You need an average of 75 notes per world, though. The averages that you need end up getting higher. I mean, for that last one, we only needed 60 notes per world, but now all of a sudden we need 75. So you just want to really collect as many notes as you can in order to complete this game. But with this, I think I'm just going to go ahead and head back to the entrance of Bubble Gloop Swamp and run around in circles, I guess. But with that, I think I am going to end these two videos here. So I will see you all in the next one where we will start up Bubble Gloop Swamp. Oh boy. I'm kind of looking forward to this world except for one small part of it. Uh, we'll see that eventually. So in the next part, Bubble Gloop Swamp. See you all then. Goodbye.